Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's, uh, well, basically this week's uh, tricky Joseki session. Uh, today we'll look at um, some of the uh, really classical uh, tricks uh, that happen very often in the game of Go. Um, so let's take a look at the board. Uh, now black approaches, which is a super normal move. And white decides to attach on the second line. Um, so if it's, you might have seen this move before, but if this is your first time seeing this move, uh, it could be quite um, um, a bit, a bit, a bit annoying. Um, you know, just just the the fact your opponent plays uh, somewhere that you know it looks visually very, uh, very shocking uh, to you um, and your first in instinct would be like well this guy must be just uh, joking with me or like he doesn't know how to play the game of go um, how can he possibly play on the second line well as it turns out this um, attachment on the second line is extremely tricky actually and is not easy to deal with as, as black. So let's look at a couple variations. Um, well, the first variation is what if, you know, black gets a bit, bit scared and just uh, decides to defend, um, you know, by making a honey from the outside. Well, in this case, white can just pull the stone back. Black has a cutting point to deal with, and a good way for him to fix is actually to fix flexibly uh, at Q8. But then Y can just comfortably make a small knight at O3. The result of uh, this variation is that Y gets a very large corner, while Black Black's three stones are really just um, not doing much, um, and and the shape isn't isn't the best either. Uh, there's there's a lot of weakness later on, uh, you know. Why can later on clamping and, and stuff like that? Um, so it's it's really just uh, not such a great variation for black, and I'm pretty sure you can, uh, you know, you can just uh, feel it uh, as, as you're watching uh, what's going on on the board. So. Definitely, uh, honey at S7 is not a great choice. So what about uh, just extending? Well, for the exact same reason, uh, why can just uh, you know play R5 and and uh, this is a this is a really good result for white as well um, because uh, black's R7 stone just looks really really bad. Um, Another way to look at it is as if black approaches like this, white decides to protect the corner, and now black decided to make a really strange looking move, and very inefficient move at R6. And white decides to, you know, play a honey. So this is a this is a very good uh, outcome. It's a very good exchange for, for white, because blacks the two stones are really, really inefficient, and white gets a large corner, or the potential to make a very large corner. So this is not a fair trade for black either. So as it turns out, um, black's only option is to con is to counterattack. Um, so let's look at the most intuitive uh, R5. Well, it looks pretty good for black. However, white can just block at R4, black has no choice. He cannot, uh, he cannot do anything like this. This won't, this will simply not work for black. So he has no choice but to turn down at R uh, at S5. Now the next move is important for white. Uh, white can pincer. It's a very aggressive move, but it turns out to be very good because right now. Sure, White's, White's corner is not, you know, completely settled. But what is more important in this is Black's group is not settled either. Black does not have two eyes. 
So he needs to somehow run towards the sender. And Y can just follow up. And eventually, if Y gets a chance, he can come back and block at S4, and he will ensure himself a very large corner. So this outcome, uh, in my view, is not uh, it's not ideal for black. Um, what is interesting is uh, if you check with AI, I think a professional mentioned that now AI recommends white just simply play N4. Um, and and, he, and AI thinks it's the best choice, but I I am not so sure why uh, AI is uh, is is making that suggestion. I think um, R9, at least for human players, I think I think R9 is is an excellent move that puts a lot of pressure um, on black groups. And uh, it's definitely not easy for for black to to deal with this. Um, so I I would say. Um, you know the the R5 that that looks super good for for black turns out to actually be um, not ideal, and it, it actually falls into the plan that uh, that white has made. Um, so the other real uh, you know the remaining option is for black to play the honey which is also a way to counterattack. Now white has no choice. Uh, white cannot do anything like this because he will just be split into two parts. And this is just uh, the most terrible shape that you can have in, in the game of Go is that you have two groups that completely split up uh, and have to, uh, you have to spend moves to deal with both of them. So not acceptable. So the only move for white is really to cut. Now, uh, you know, if you are um, high level, say down level player, uh, you might have this um, this sort of intuition. You you would have this feeling of, of playing S4, which is a which is very very interesting move. Um, so well, let's let's look at it. This variation might be a little bit more complicated, but I think uh, if you watch this video maybe twice, you can remember this variation. So next, white has to come out because he cannot allow black to Atari at S7. Now black needs to deal with a corner. So the correct move is to attach at Q3. White honeys and black extends. Notice the extending here is, is definitely better than retreating at R3. If you retreat at R3, uh, I believe white can simply connect and later on uh, the corner will still um, be squeezed by white later on. So this is not ideal. And usually the best move is, uh, is extending at Q3, uh, at Q2. So. Now, uh, white has a very interesting move, that is to play at Q5. So the purpose of this move is first to threaten to honey in uh, at R3. So if you play anywhere else, uh, this will be an immediate threat. Well, this is actually actually going to be a very devastating um, a, a disaster, pretty much for for black, because now your corner is just going to be uh, split in half, and and uh, basically your two zones is going to die, and the other group is also in great danger. Now. The situation depends. In the, in our case, and usually is the case that black can counterattack by, you know, by playing a cut. Here, notice white cannot pull this stone out and fight because now black has uh, a very severe push. When white extend, black can push on the other side, and now white has three groups in danger to deal with, and it's very, uh, it's pretty pretty much impossible for. Uh, for for white to escape all of them, uh, so this is not uh, this is not a, a very variation that works for white uh, for white. So the correct uh, the correct continuation for white is actually counterattack at R3. Black now plays the R2. White extends. 
black cannot cut because he only has two liberties. So the only thing he can do is to keep pushing and white now can uh, capture black stones at t4. And notice here there's um, there's no way for black to really um, survive uh, or pull out the two stones. So however black can push here. This is a sente because otherwise uh, otherwise black would just Atari and then white will be captured and there's no uh, the connect and die situation. White pushes out. So and now black has to come back and fix this um, O3 weakness. Otherwise it would be too severe. Um, and now white can uh, to finish this this variation, white can add a turn here or why can Katanuki and start playing somewhere else on the board. And this is an equal position for both sides. Um, and obviously the condition is that the ladder uh, works, right? If the ladder does not work, then uh, this variation would not, would not exist. So by playing a very aggressive counterattack, uh, and with the ladder that is working, black can achieve an equal position uh, out of this um, out of this uh, variation. So we we talked about the counterattack, and now there's another move that black can play here, which is I think the correct move to counter the trick that I talked about today which is to simply capture S6 stone. Now white cannot really Atari at S4 because black can take. Uh, black gains a very solid shape towards the top side while white still has weakness in the corner. So this is not really a fair trade um, for, for white. And white, even if white spends another move, there's still some very, very bad RG uh, inside inside the corner. Um, black can later on clamp in and stuff like that. Uh, this corner is really, really hard to fix. So white really has one choice, which is Atari on top. And notice now black can definitely not connect at R7 because now white gets another Atari. Uh, this is just not this outcome is just not comparable to the previous one because now um, white gains so much um, with this Q6 exchange that compensates everything and uh, definitely is giving uh, white a leading position uh, because now uh, he can also develop uh, towards the left side. While the R7 stone is really inefficient and when you have a stone this inefficient in the game, uh, it's just, um, it's it's really hard to give you a reason to, to say that, that your position is okay because uh, this R7 stone is just really uh, not doing much. Um, so the correct move is, to, uh, is for black to capture actually. And now you might be wondering like, like how how is this okay for black when when white Ataris? Well, uh, since we're at the beginning of the game, it's really hard to find co threats. So um, black can uh, can not really uh, fight this co, uh, nor can he, can he connect. Uh, if he connects, well, there are many there are many things that that white can do. I think the the simplest one is to enclose again, uh, and it's pretty similar to previous uh, position. Uh, and and black pretty much has to play this and white gains a nice outside influence well all black stones are, are squeezed together in the, in the first line second line third line uh, this is really not a good continuation for black so black really is left with one choice which is the flipping atari and now um white needs to take this stone so you might be wondering, well, isn't isn't that black, uh, bad for black? Because now black does not really have any co-threats. Well, as it turns out, um, I mean, 
as you watch more of my video, you'll, you'll start to sort of understand this idea in Go is that um, Go is so flexible, right? Um, it, yeah, sure, locally it might look uh, not so good for black, um, but it turns out that the black's shapes actually has so much flexibility. Now he can just tanuki. He can get, play another big move outside, which is kind of uh, kind of impressive. Um, and now we we have to look at w what can White do here. That's really the question we're asking. Can White start a kill right away? I don't think so, because now Black can just take the stone back, and there's no cold threat for White either because it's the start of the game. Uh, if White plays anywhere else, Black would take this, and this is would just be pretty much game over i would say this this is black is just too strong and too many points and and all white stones are are so weak and um black's definitely leading by a lot so so why cannot fight this coat either so why cannot afford to invest the s8 move so white is actually an awkward situation because now we see that black takes a move outside and white is still not able to settle uh, this locally. Um, so if white connects at R6, uh, black has two choices. If he thinks that, you know, um, he somehow wants this group to be more or less, uh, more or less uh, flexible still, uh, he can play this tiger's mouth move. And, and this move really helps developing uh, on this side for him. And really, White has to spend another move if he really wants to get the corner eventually. So he'll spend another move, and Black can play another move outside. As we can see right now, yes, locally White is doing pretty well in this um, upper, sorry, in this lower right corner. But but we have to look at globally uh, in the game of Go. We have to think globally. Black has so many stones outside, and this is just super slow for White and. Uh, it might still be playable, but but I mean this is this is already a difficult game for White because now if you look at the outside, um, this there's just everywhere you see black stones and and it's so the the, the position like like blacks is so fast as, as he's uh, opening and it's really really difficult even uh, any invasion is now seems a bit difficult so. So really, at this point, uh, White also needs to play a bit smarter, right? If you if you're setting the trap in your game, uh, you sort of uh, have to find a way out, right? Like if you if if someone else also watched this video or learned this knowledge about this particular track, a uh, particular trick, uh, then you sort of need to. <laughs> Uh, find a way to, to sort of equalize the game and the move that allows you to do that uh, is, is, is this Q7 uh, This is actually a very interesting move uh, And it's it is better than if you just connect at R6 and the reason being that the Q7 move Really helps you developing the outside. Uh, it helps more than the the really heavy looking R6 connection so now black can follow the same uh, idea, and white also encloses his own corner. And this would be how uh, how this local variation uh, is going to end. Now, now black can definitely go ahead and play another move on the board. And now, as we can see, um, the R6 connection is definitely better. Uh, sorry, the, the Q7 move is definitely better than R6 connection. Because R6 is only a bit more points than the Q7, but Q7 uh, makes the wall much better, um, both in terms of, you know, later on he can he can come to here um, and forming his own moyo and reducing Black's moyo, um, as if, it, but if he connected at R6, uh, this would not. Be possible like if you if you play this one well it will be look very weird you will have some weakness um, you know even if I don't cut you immediately 
Uh, there's some weakness, but I believe there's uh, there's definitely some sort of problems going on in here. Um, so yeah, so Q, if you just p play Q7 right now, it makes a big difference. Now, once again, Black can just fix his problem at S10. White keeps his corner and Black plays somewhere else. Well, the end of this uh, variation turns out to be slightly better for Black. And uh, and, and this is, in the old days, uh, when I learned this, this trick uh, as white, is that this, this trick does not work, so don't use them in tournaments and stuff. But uh, with AI analysis these days, I think tricks and tracks, uh, tricks and traps also evolved by themselves. Uh, and, and now AI thinks white is okay. Uh, he's, not, he's not as good, but we all know that you know, white starts with about 57% uh, win rate. Um, I would say at this point, it's probably a 50-50 game. Um, white, white gets a really nice wall and uh, a big corner, and then he has a side to develop on. But we can definitely see that you know, for black, uh, his speed uh, and his his development is is very 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 nice. Uh, he's a side to develop on, a corner to to work on, as well as as the top side, uh, to uh, top right side to work on. Um, so so definitely I prefer playing black in this situation. But AI really says that it's still a playable game for both sides. So that is the the conclusion uh, for this. Uh, this trick. For this trick, um, yeah. So I definitely uh, encourage uh, you to try this trick out in your in your in your casual games, uh, not in tournaments, because because uh, if you play this one and they they just play accurately and you're probably a bit behind in terms of speed, uh, it's still playable for you, as I said before. But uh, I personally like uh, black at the end of the very accurate continuation for both sides. Uh, but if in casual games you, you should definitely try this out. It's still a very uh, still a very tricky uh, tricky move. And and uh, according to AI, you cannot be um, penalized very severely um, if if your opponent uh, plays accurately. So. All right, so this is this week's uh, Tricky Joseki. I hope you liked it, and uh, we'll talk about another one uh, next week. All right, thanks for watching.